Hello all my model car building buddies. This here is Model Cars with Gwen. And I'm Gwen. And for just for today only, I come with a side of coleslaw. So you got that coming. Mmm. All right. Uh, here's the band. They're going to be here back. They're back here tonight. Godzilla, Ned, <laughs> him on the keyboard, which I apologize for. And there's Jungle Pam and Big Daddy. But Ted says he ain't playing tonight. He's exhausted. Says he's exhausted. I told him if that's the best he can do, bring jokes, he can just stay home next time. Because that sucks. Anyway, that's him. You know, he does that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Let me see. What do I got? I got to show you some stuff here. Not a lot. Um, let me see if I can get this. Position better. Oh, wait. I got to show you my brother's picture. Exhausted. He ought to be ashamed of himself for that. Ta-da, brother's picture. Uh, let me put the light on it, and kaboongo. There we go. Now, let me see. Whoops. Up this way, and down a little bit. There we go. Just imagine the music that's coming from these guys here. Godzilla, he's ripping it, man. He's a monster on the uh, lead. Oh, man, that is a pretty picture. I really like the the mountain volcano dealy in the background. That's, that's pretty being all red and stuff. I got some... Birds of some sort up in the sky. Pterodactyls, I would imagine. And river. And some trees. That's pretty nice. I like that. I really like the sky. The sky that's up here. That's pretty cool. Okay, next, I'm going to show you these guys. This is uh, bad photography. Okay. Nope, still more. Sorry, guy. I just knocked. <laughs> I just knocked Ted over. I got. I put a coat of paint on it, and the weirdest thing in the world happened. Uh, this side here, you know, one coat of paint looks pretty good. There's a little bit of, you know, plastic crazy. And you'll have that on the first coat, and, but this side over here, for some reason, the paint just wrinkled up. Looked like Grammy's butt. I'm telling you, man, it's it just pruny. And I'm letting it cure out. I'm going to water sand it a little bit. and may, I ain't going to try to put another coat of paint on it. I am going to paint uh, pearl green in the clear over it to turn it more green, sparkly. And on the group build, I have gotten the motor. I got the motor and headers built. I ain't putting the stacks on until the last thing. Because I'll knock them off in the meantime. But they got the headers coming out the... Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. And the interior is painted. Ain't much in there yet. Just the interior bucket. I'm working on it. This, this darn sciatic nerve, psychotic nerve, whatever the hell it is, is just it's just sapping my will to live. You know? Uh... It's not being easy to do this. I can lean forward for a few minutes and then I have to lean back and wait for it to stop. Anyway, enough about that. This is a couple of cool cars. This is Mad Mike's group, but no. Mike's model shop, Mad Gasser's group build from Mad Mike and his Mad Model Shop. Sorry, Mike. I know that's not your real name. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just playing. Uh... It's 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 Mike's Models Shop, I'm pretty sure, and it's and it's Mad Gassers, not this one. This one. This is for the group build. Okay, well enough about that craziness. I'm gonna set these off over here. And oh, check this out! I got a stash ad. I do a bit of a stash ad. If I can fit it in the frame. I got the Thunderboy. And it comes from the Hobby Lobby. 
what when they're having that big old sale, you got you got to go in there. Plus, Donnie bought me this for Christmas. I mean, yeah, for Christmas for my birthday. My birthday is coming up pretty soon, and I don't know how he knew it of all the models I have up there. I don't know how he knew I didn't have this, and I wanted this. This is going to make a cool gasser. <laughs> you knew I, you knew I was going to say gasser. Don't even don't even start with that mess. I ain't painting it pink though, no, or Pepto Bismol. Neither one. It'll be painted a color, but that's not pink. Yeah, fifty six Ford Thunderbird by Ravel. I don't know. This could be an old kit, a new kit. Uh, it's cool. It's got darn nice. It's got darn nice uh, detailing on the body and stuff. I like it. Okay, what do I got now? Benny, quit. Leave, leave me up. Don't let... Jeez, ow, boy. What are you... Your breath is horrible, man. What have you been eating? Farts? Leave me alone. Go over there and lay down. Jeez Louise, man. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I was saying because I got a birthday coming up in a, in, in a few days. You know, that's one of the first signs of aging is birthdays. You know, that's one of the clues. Uh, well, I'm going to show you some of my crazy older builds. This one ain't too old. You can tell by the decal out of control. That's about the eight. That's about the time it was built when that model came out. Let me see if I can get the. Oops. Boy, I'm not messed up. I'll bring this down a little bit. There, there we go. Yep, this is uh, what is a uh, Impali. One of them there Impalas. Got the stacks on it. Fender well headers. It's just out of control. It's an altered wheelbase. You can tell because front wheel the wheels are here. Front wheels are still about where they're supposed to be. Uh, let me show you the interior. Gonna attack on the dashboard it does and a fire extinguisher and shifter pair of vice grips clamped to the steering shaft. No, there's a steering wheel in there. I'm kidding you. One of these days though, I'm gonna build one with a pair of vice grips clamped to the <laughs> just for the craziness of it. Had a cool decal in the back window. The back of the car is blocked off. Sheet metal. There's the underneath of it. Whoa, so you've got shocks, but no drive shaft. Uh, let me see the motor. There's the motor. Oh, got them cool metal velocity stacks on this, too. I love those things, man. They're so cool. Yeah, this is nice. This is done pretty well. Uh, I didn't go crazy with the detailing. I got the plug wires on there, and that's about it. You can't see under the hood when I put the hood on. This guy's just like me, though. He's out of control. Uh, yep. Okay, I'm going to set him back over here and bring out the next candidate, which is this real bright, sparkly green Willies. It painted silver, and then I just started laying on per coats of green pearl until it was totally green pearl and that's what you're seeing here is nothing but pure green there's no green paint on it anywhere it's just green pearl and it's oh, there's so many coats of it you can't see through it <laughs> i like this color though it's a nice color cool car too this is that well you guys know what kid it is it comes with a drive shaft so you don't have to go looking for one and cool ladder bars which i shortened up because I have a way of taking the piece that I cut off of that and make some short ladder bars for another car. So I get two cars out of one, excuse me, one set of ladder bars. It's pretty underneath, all, all green and, and silver. That's nice. I like that. Let's see, what about the motor, though? Is there any detail on it? Or am I still Captain Lazy Butt? Let's see. Here is, yeah, check that Check that out, man. I got the got the fuel lines on there. And the spark plug wires. Yep. 
boots, green boots, for some reason. A couple of hoses running there. Must be going to the fuel tank. Let me turn it around here. Better grip on it so I don't drop it. Yeah. I wish my chrome wouldn't fade out, but there you go. Stuff happens and you deal with it. And there's inside there's some pretty seats. A little steering wheel there. All right. Well, they showed you underneath. Let me take her for a quick spin on the roaster tisserie. Whirly jigger, that is. And uh, you can see the gas tank, moon tank behind that grill. I like those grills. I had a stack of them, but I've been using them for everything. And this is the willies. I have more. I have more. Don't go away. You guys can you guys can go get a sandwich or something in a few minutes. What a, what what do you got better to do than look at a thirty two old timey thirty two classic roadster with the four oh nine, the big and littles, white walls, Krager mags, and that beautiful maroon paint. I don't know why that looks like that right there. It looks faded. It could be faded after all these years. This guy, this guy is old. You remember when the three-window 32 coupe first came out, the Revel model? You know, the, the, the one that's the same for all of them. Ain't much underneath. I, I didn't even put the traction bars on it or the drive shaft. But y'all remember when this came out? That's Wow, check it out, boy. That's faded there, too. I guess that's cool. I don't know. It could be it could be considered cool. Why is it fading though? That's weird. Inside the house, in the cabinet, the sides faded too. I love it. I, I'll go with it. I, I'd say it's just an old car, and the paint's faded. Been out in the sun? Nope. Been in the cabinet. Look at the face on this thing. If you don't get the headlights in the exact right place, it's not going to look cool. And this looks cool. The headlights are down enough, up enough, in enough, out enough, whatever. But they're in the right place for this. That is that is a cool looking face right there. Let me get this thing leveled up. I don't like it when it's crooked. Yeah, that's better. Give a couple loops around. A 409. Let me show the motor. Got the 409. Giddy up. 409. Yeah. This is this is one of my favorite little roadsters. It ain't a roadster. Anyway, it's one of my favorite little hot rods. I have one last car to show you, then I'm going to shut up and let you go. You guys can go and run into the kitchen and get that sandwich. That I know you're dying for. Maybe another cup of coffee before you go to bed or get up or whatever time you get to watch this. Right now on my clock, it is 11.30 p.m. So I imagine by the time this gets loaded, it'll be like 3 or 4 in the morning. But that's here on Earth time. There's also standard and spe specific time and mountain time. So you won't catch me mountain no time, that's for sure. But this is a 62 Ranchero with the wheels moved forward. Front wheels are still in the right place. Motor is back. And <laughs> I love it when they sit up high in the front like this. And uh, got them spoky wheels. Moon tank on the front. Got the cool headers. Let me see. Let me see. Nope. No drive shaft. Dad, dad, freaking, 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 ragging. And, but it's got everything else. Nope, no shocks on the back. Man, I am lazy. I am the lazy modeler. Got the seat and roll bar, fire extinguisher. I try to get a fire extinguisher tack, at least, you know, in every one. There's a little shifter. Well, this is the last one I got to show you. I'm almost at 15 minutes, so you guys are probably getting tired of hearing me. And want me to go away. So I'm going to. And. For, oh. 
for the, I want you to give me a like. And for those of you who have never heard what, who don't know what reverse psychology is, don't hit that like button. Whatever you do, stay away from that like button. And for those of you who have heard of reverse psychology, hit the damn thing anyway. Jeez, we you guys are lazy. I have never seen so many nice and lazy people. Nice, but lazy. Push the button, like button. And and give me a comment. It won't hurt you. A little typing. Something to do in the evening. And, uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm going to go. And, yeah. So, uh, I'll see you next time. And, bye.